Well, how do there, people in the viewer versus design, Captain of the Steves. Now, this is probably about the third time I've started this video. I keep having bad starts to it. For whatever reason, the audio doesn't always come through my headset that I'm wearing. Got a nice English brew, so, you know, we're just soldier on anyway. Anyhow, we're going to be listening to the Starfield Direct. They're doing a gameplay deep dive. Now, this is a 45-minute video without me jibber-jabbering, but I'm going to be commenting on this throughout. So, anyways, I'll put the video link inside of the video description. You can go and hit that up. I'll also put it up there, so you can go and hit it up if you don't want to hear me talking about this. But anyway, let's hit play and let's see what Todd's got to say. Welcome to okay, Bethesda Game Studios. You know been so lucky over the decades to make the kind of games that we love here and that's thanks to all of you from the Elder Scrolls to Fallout we love creating these worlds and playing in them just as much as you do and throughout all that time we'd often talk about and dream up the space game what if we could take that feeling of being who you want to be and exploring a new world but set it in space where you weren't really limited in where you could go or what you could do and that is Starfield. Obviously, we've come a long way since then with the games we've built, our technology, and all of us here in the studio. We've done so much together, but, well, we've never tried to make a game like this. Well, it sounds very much like No Man's Sky. I mean, it has to be said. I mean, all of that, if you, if you didn't say Starfield, I would have said No Man's Sky. But anyway, let's hit this up and let's see what else there has to be said. I mean, yeah, No Man's Sky has got a long way to go when it comes to mission giving. Today, you'll get to hear from many on the team and see so much of what we think makes our game special. So let's jump in and take a look. Come on then, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Look at this. Starfield is our first new universe in over 25 years, but it's still a Bethesda RPG through and through. Hopefully it's not a Fallout sort of launch, though, yay. Yeah. But uh, I'm noticing it It almost feels like there's a couple of... Is it? Is it 60 frames per second? It doesn't look that smooth. But uh, the worlds look freaking great. These don't really look like volumetric, though. They almost looks like a skybox. But let's, let's go on. Where you step into a new world and you get that feeling of unlimited possibilities. But this time, it's not just one world. Oh... Nice lens it's flare. Over a thousand worlds. Because the choice of where to go, it's not ours. It's yours. Like it? Oh, Weber effects. And it wasn't until now that we had the technology to create it. Like the hues. Very nice. From the rocks at your feet to the mountains in the distance. To the people and creatures that live in these worlds. The creatures look quite cool. The animation, tad janky. Though. That isn't just a backdrop. That moon is actually there orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. Again, the frames. Bit, 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 we bit. realistically simulate the galaxy around you. Okay. Our next generation lighting model uses real time global illumination to light the world based on the type of star and the makeup of the planet's atmosphere. I like that. That looks nice. I like the foliage moving. We also have an all new animation system. And of course, you can play it in third person, and okay. you can play it in first person. Okay, do you see the weapon, though, in first person? Hopefully you do, you know, in the hands, maybe. We love exploration and rewarding it, but you do explore differently in this game, given its scale. I feel like No Man's that Sky. That usually involves exploring an area you've landed in. Okay, cool. You can collect resources. Like it. By No Man's Sky. I'm going to be saying that a, a lot, mission, I think. And maybe even stumble upon something unexpected. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, you do see the weapon in first person. There you are. Nice. Using the backpack to give it a little bit of lift in the jumps. Like, this looks a lot faster. This is almost on par with, like, Destiny. But you can see the frame skips and the, the blurriness. Okay. Nice. I like the fact that you shot the jetpack and it exploded. Very cool. Different ways to take people out. Like it. This looks slick. We do love stuff and all of the items allowing you to pick everything up. Like and stuff. you can view all that in your data menu. Okay. 
This is the hub for everything you're doing, from your skills to your ship, your missions, and your inventory. Looks simple, looks we clean. We love to pack a ton of detail in every object. Like from it. From all of your weapons, Heck to yes. spacesuits, like to the aesthetics. Food. We just obsess over the details and food. We obsess over food. <laughs> love it. Look at the little when beetles. you're done exploring, you can walk back or fast travel to your ship. Fast travel, we okay, nice. We have companions nice. and crew you can take with you. I left Vasco here back at my ship. Welcome back, Captain Howard. And Captain he can Howard, even say your is that name. his name? Let's head out. Oh, I would say Captain Steve. Oh, but if I put my name in as Captain Steve, it might say Captain Captain Steve. Oh, Our mission was to convey <laughs> the wonder and majesty of space exploration, to evoke the romance of the golden age of early space flight. And we've been referring to this approach as NASA punk. NASA this means punk. a design language where the tech is advanced, okay. yet still looks grounded and relatable. I could see us, that in the space suit contrast, designs. That's where the visual interest is. Obviously the NASA, which is the rigid, hard, function over style, and then punk, which is all about style. Very cool. You can see that visual style coming through in your ship. Your ship is your home for you and your crew. And like many of the spaces in our game, it has a slightly retro and analog touch. A bit of lo-fi rather than sci-fi, where everything is well used, worn, and lived in. Alrighty. What's the plan, Captain? Okay. This is your star map. It starts with the planet you're currently on. You can see all of its info and resources. You can choose a landing spot or fast travel to known locations. Okay. Backing out it. further, you can view all the planets in the system. Obviously, the game is big, and it's here you can see planets that have key locations, missions, or life on them, versus the many Fauna, planets that Laura. are barren but resource heavy. Okay, cool. Zoom out even further to see all the systems in this part of the galaxy. Holy fudge. Here you can plot a course to ones that are light years away. This uses your ship's grav drive to fold space and jump to these systems. And you will need to upgrade your ship and skills if you want to jump to the most distant ones. But for now, we'll plot a course to the Alpha Centauri system where we can find the city of New Atlantis. I like how it shows you fuel consumption, all that sort of stuff. It makes it a little bit more straightforward than Star Citizen. But you still have to plan your journey, unlike like No Man's Sky, where you just go wherever you like when you want. And I love that folding space effect. Holy Welcome fudge. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Oh, wow. It's got little elements of like Elite Dangerous, Sit Star Citizen, No Man's Sky. This is, this, is, this is ticking a lot of boxes right now, people. And even though it's not seamless travel from, from landing to space, I, I don't mind the animations. I don't think that's going to be a game breaker for me. No. As soon as you land in a city like New Atlantis, your eyes are guided upwards oh, to yeah. just these boundless, vast buildings. Very it's cool. It's the biggest city we've ever made not just in size, but also in the amount of custom art, crowds, and quests. Wow. So the main focus when we're designing a city is obviously what supports the story. We try and tell as many small stories as possible. This is a colony war memorial. It's a few moments of gameplay that make the space feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's oh, paralyzed if you really stop and think about it. Buddy, it's coffee. It's also where your adventure with Constellation begins. That watch can get on pre-order. So I saw some of this on Jason Plays, but I was on a train, so it kept Welcome buffering and cutting out. We have a lot to talk about. By the time you meet them, Constellation is sort of seen as this mythical group. Most people don't even know they exist anymore. They're the last true explorers in the galaxy, and they're trying to find the answers to some of humanity's biggest questions. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Really? I feel like the old atlas and the monoliths and all that the sort of artifact, shenanigans. If you could place it on the table here. Oh my god, look at how it's coming together. That means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. It's definitely an eclectic cast of characters. You've got Sarah Morgan, the ex-soldier and adventurer, now Constellation's leader. Mateo, the theologian who believes that there's definitely something else out there. Noel, the gifted scientist and Sarah Morgan's protege. And Walter, a very successful businessman in the settled systems 
and Constellation's financier. Anything goes as long as you have the money. There's also Vlad, the ex-pirate, Sam Coe, the former space cowboy, cool. and Barrett. You know what I hate about these pirates? Completely resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. <laughs> the journey you take cool. with Constellation is just the first of many you'll embark on. The Settled Systems is home to all kinds of different stories, people, and adventures oh, for you to that. uncover. No way! He's cool! Holy... I really like those creatures. Okay, I'm getting used to these frame skips a little now, but even still, I'm not keen on the frame The United skips. Colonies is where you'll find New Atlantis, the first major human settlement in space. Okay. The people who live here value law, discipline, and the legacy of humanity. They consider themselves the true children of Earth. You ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help yeah. the United Colonies even get your UC citizenship? Sign me up. New Atlantis isn't the only city within the United Colonies. Oh, cool. The city of Sidonia on Mars monster. to this day serves as the largest mining facility for the United Colonies. So it's like the expanse, doesn't it, with the mining colonies there and stuff. I think out of the two... Beyond the, the United oh, Colonies on. reach, one. you might find yourself in a much more wild and independent coalition of star systems. Yeah? This is Freestar Collective Space. Oh, ah, more country western, almost like Firefly. The capital of the Freestar Collective oh. is Aquila City. Well, the like... Stone Root Inn is an Aquila City fixture. Oh, I wonder if they are more hunting missions Ranger of creatures on and judgment fauna. and intuition to do what's best for the oh. people. Oh, Neon I'm gonna be a space cowboy. Neon started out as a fishing platform, but is now known throughout the cell systems and as a pleasure city. city, where almost anything goes. If you've got oh. morality issues, this definitely isn't the job for you. Oh my days! I wonder if you get to choose like background trait where it Reunion puts you in one of these starting the cities or something. Brightest of today for our future tomorrow. I like the fashion Everyone there. Everyone has been chewed up and ground oh, up by what Neon. You guys? Try not to get yourself killed, all right? That looks grimy. Outside the bounds of civilized space, there are still plenty of unclaimed systems to explore, but these areas are also home to the most hostile factions in the galaxy. Love the t-shirt, mate. The awesome great serpent hungers. What the All heck? heathens shall be made dust in time. I like the voice acting. Pretty a cool. A new face. This is the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile. Red Mile, okay. They think the galaxy is theirs. They are wrong. It belongs to the Crimson Fleet. It always has. <laughs> In Starfield, we're pushing our mask. cities and settlements further than we ever have before. It's all there, what? waiting for you. You can go on holiday. A slice of humanity's future. Oh, I love the crater. That so, cool. ready to get out there? Yes! Sign me up! So yeah, Throughout the on... galaxy, there are so many wow. things to see and stories to experience. But the most important story is the one that you tell. This looks amazing. I'm the type of person one who spends second, hours one in second. character creation. And I think people are going to be... Now, just to clarify, I was on a train. It was buffering. I didn't see hardly any of... I haven't seen all this starting bit. The only bit I saw was when someone was talking about being a stealthy character and going through air vents and jumping down and taking people out. I saw that bit, and then it cut out for ages, and I didn't tune back in again for some time. And they were talking about ship customization. I saw that. I chimed in and said, yeah, I'd like the Firefly, and then I lost connection again. So I must have seen probably maybe... 12 minutes at best, if that. So only quarter, and I, I haven't seen any of this. This is all new to me. So this is my first time reaction to any people. Here we go, let's hit play. Really excited when they oh, see all of the improvements we've made. Again. One of the biggest overhauls was done through our character generation system. We scanned a wide range of faces from different age groups and ethnicities. And by mixing and matching all that data, we were able to create highly detailed and diverse characters. We use that exact system to create all of the characters and NPCs you're gonna see in the game. So any character you see almost always is a character you could make yourself. That is quite cool. I wish I'd use photogrammetry so you can scan yourself and put yourself hey, into a game. On. That'd be come cool. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. <laughs> nice. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? 
Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Got some alien tech underneath her arm. Oh, wow. You start your character creation journey as though you're cycling through employee records. You'll pick from a lineup of 40 presets, and that'll be your starting point. Okay. Your journey from there can be as detailed or as quick as you want it to be. This new system has more to offer than ever before. Okay, it's also cool. the simplest like character generation system we ever had. We let the player get as close as possible to make whatever they want. With the various facial morphs you can blend together, the dermesthetic and makeup, blemishes, scars, piercings, teeth mm. settings. It's a lot, but I think it's the most fun to use. They all look human though. It's character creation is more than just how you look. This yeah. is also where you start to decide who you want to be. That's where backgrounds come in. Nice. Backgrounds give you a bit of backstory and start you out with three basic skills. From chef to dusty. You know, the crew still has a betting pool about which restaurant critic you must have crossed to wind up here. What's great about backgrounds is you never know when yours is going to come in handy. You could be in the middle of a fancy restaurant talking to some guy, and suddenly you learn he needs a beast hunter to help track down a monster. Beast hunter, if I want that. I probably beast should hunter. stick to professionals anyway, given what happened the last time. We're also giving you the option to customize your build even further by letting you pick up to three traits. Traits are completely optional, and they come with their own cool. advantages and disadvantages. Neo you Street could choose right some of your biggest fan. Okay. Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera. Is it really, really <laughs> He'll join your crew no. and give you gifts if you're willing to put up Kick with this constant of commentary. Airlock. I can't believe I get to stand near you, breathing the same air. Oh my days. I've got to have every molecule. Okay, that's just cringe. My favorite trait is kid stuff. You have to pay some credits to support your parents, but they're very sweet and it's really fun to go visit them. <laughs> Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. This oh, looks so God. immersive. I came across some hostile zealots in space, but because I had chosen a trait that made me the same religion as them, I was able to get by without any issues. Cool. There's another great one that gives you a damage buff when your health is low, but mercenaries will randomly show up and try to kill you. Okay, stay clear of that no one then. No matter what you choose, there will be nice. plenty of ways for you to tell your story. And if you want to remove a trait, there are ways to do that too. What a view! It's a feast for the eyes. <laughs> oh, I can see what's coming next. Just kick him off the ledge. Adventure. Disable we'll his backpack let you discover first, that maybe. On your own. Yeah. Brilliant. We just get just fun to get him just to off him, wouldn't it? <laughs> Is that just me thinking that? I don't know. Oh, look at Once the you've art. built the perfect character, that's when your journey can really begin. We took what we loved about skills and perks from our previous games and put them together to create an all new skill system. Each time you level up, what the you get a skill point, which can be used to unlock or rank up skills. I love the actual patches. They look really cool. The patches Ranks themselves. are unlocked by completing challenges associated with that skill. Cool. So they actually unlock for use of the skill. I like the challenges idea Challenges become increasingly difficult as you work your way to higher ranks. Very with our cool. five different skill trees and four ranks per skill, there's a lot to choose from. Jesus. I like the Xeno sociology skill because it lets you mind control aliens. What? No. Mind control of aliens? Oh, Beast Hunter and that boost combined. Pack, out of the gate. I'm boost back mm. and everywhere. Oh, I want boost pack too. Oh, you can unlock more as your time I like goes on. I'm maxing out my physical tree so I can get neuro strikes and just punch my way through combat. Serious. Like I'm Gorilla Arms and Cyberpunk. That one's a lot of fun. Oh. <laughs> Uppercut. Invest in the skills that suit your play style. I'm very much a stealth player, so I'm cool. out there pickpocketing this everyone. This is what I saw on the train when Favorite I was watching Jason. Favorite part about being stealthy is slowly creeping through vents like you're in a movie and then jumping out and springing on people. Love it. Whenever possible, I like to talk my way through I situations. Be, I play. The series off limits. Talking, probably me, but then Fine. I don't want to be I'll in the talking you an access card. I'm more of a run and gun player. Run and gun. That, that, that's probably the way I'm like going to do it as well. I death from above thing where I boost pack over guys and I throw landmines at them. That's exactly how I play Destiny. I go for the quick spawning grenades. Yeah. I like blowing stuff up. Me too. Brilliant. 
And this does look more on pace with Destiny now on combat. They've really tweaked the combat. This looks like a massive upgrade to the first trailer when it comes to combat. Oh, look at that vista. Oh, take my money! Oh, please have photo mode. It's got to have photo mode. Exploration like that. is a key aspect of all our games. Ah, oh, this is a bit I wanted to hear. Exploration, are star me, one hundred percent. New life, resources, and adventures. I want to catalog every planet, even if it is barren. Do videos on each planet, each moon, everything. Our team oh, look worked at those. hard to strike a balance between fun and realism. We oh, study wow. data from NASA and a multitude of other sources to help us make the world feel believable. Heck yes. From the way we approached planetary atmospheres oh, to the way we placed biomes based on the planet's distance Even from the, the sun. Even the barren ones are beautiful. What's that? Once distance from the sun? Grounded world, I've heard that before. We can start looking at all sky. the things Didn't that happen. make that world fun. Oh, look at that. It's like an iguanodon. When you leave a planet and head into space, you'll be navigating asteroid fields, having chance meetings with interesting strangers, dogfighting in space, and exploring derelict ships. Oh, this looks amazing. It's all out there. Wow. Ultimately, it's about rewarding your curiosity because whether it's on the surface oh, of a planet, planet, the alleys of a city, or the vastness of space, you never know what you'll find. Oh, I'm gonna play it now. Holy fudge. The different ship types just then as it's coming in with the animation. Look at the HUDs. Oh, is this ship customization? It is, isn't it? Space exploration is possible thanks to your ship. Your ship is almost like having another character or home you can make all your own. I think you'll be blown oh, away wow. by the amount of stuff you can do. You can huh. buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. Customize and upgrade that wow. ship. And hire a crew to keep it up and running. Cool. And it all starts in spaceports. This is the other bit I saw on every um, space customization. Has a ship technician, where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Anything I can help you with? Maybe you start off with a speedy fighter that's perfect for that's bounty hunting. Cool. Then you might round out your ship roster with a hulking space me, freighter to one. run cargo missions, or even do a little smuggling. Smuggling, yeah. For now, though, we're going like to take our starter. starting ship, nice, the Frontier, and make some changes. This you is, can this customize is, yeah. and upgrade everything you see here. And you have two ways to do that. You can quickly upgrade individual systems like your weapons or shields. Love it. Or you can deep dive and enter the shipbuilder mode. Here you can change anything from the systems to the look and layout. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. So cool. Adding cowling can change your ship's overall silhouette. An improved grav drive allows for longer distance space jumps. You can even fully customize your paint job to get the exact wow. look you want. Wow, the wow, parts wow. you choose to build with don't just affect your ship's stats. They'll also affect what you can do inside your ship. You can have modules for crafting or for storing and displaying your weapons. Oh, I love that. That's Starfield's so cool. in-game ship manufacturers bring their own look and feel to every piece of your ship. I wish we From had living quarters racks in to no cargo Man's holds, sky. mess halls, and control rooms. Oh, this looks great. Yeah, so all of this was all buffering when I was watching this on the train. I saw Our one bit where they made like a, a Gundam ship, robot but ship. But with a little creativity, your ship can look like almost anything you want. It's a bit odd, but one of my favorite ways of customizing ships is um, I make them look like animals. I'd probably be doing that. The HMS Platypus, to look like, as um, I called it. The Firefly from Serenity. Where it had a, like a giant tail to it. Then we've done spiders, we've done mechs. Mech, that's so what I saw. Really this is what I saw. Whatever it takes your off minute, imagination it? is. Yeah, I saw that. And then that's pretty much all I've and seen. And while you can build your so, home among the stars the way you want to, you're probably not the only person who will call your ship home. Hey. Oh, okay, so you can get ready NPCs. Ready to lift off where you are, Captain. Nice. Engines ready. The Frontier is fueled and ready, Captain. Love it. Some of the members of Constellation can join you on your journey. These companions can serve on your crew, 
and they'll always be there when you travel. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Each companion comes with their own valuable skills for your ships and outposts, as well as unique quest lines. Eventually, some friendships might blossom into romance. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. And if you're looking for a little extra help on your ship, you can always hire additional crew at spaceports. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? This looks You'll awesome. You'll also meet potential crew members out in the world. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Assign Mind. crew to your ship or outposts, and their unique skills will affect how they run. Oh, this looks amazing. And just like companions, most crew members can lend a hand in the field. Take Bosco, for instance. He's designed around the, the core basics of a NASA machine. Please avoid getting shot. <laughs> you might die. <laughs> I still wanted to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated <laughs> the limbs. Yeah. This tends to make him feel more human-like and give him a little personality. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. Cool. Using the ship building tools and crew selection features in Starfield, you'll be able to build and captain the ship of your dreams. Oh, I can't wait. The ship customization now, alone let's is going to keep you busy for ages. And that's taken... I mean, the exploration looks like it's far more involved than what I first anticipated. And it does look like there's a wealth of planets out there teeming with life or resources. So I think each planet could deserve its own video, but we shall see people. Oh, look at visuals in space, even, peeps. That ringed planet just looks so We're putting you so cool. in the cockpit of your very own spaceship and telling you that you can do pretty much anything. And that is really cool for us as developers. Apart from fly down to a planet and get space a cutscene, but I think I can be exciting and dangerous. And you should feel like you're in complete control every step of the way. All right. I'm loving all the little button clicks. This so We've needs to be VR. that sense of control to ship combat. It's not about just hitting your triggers to fire your weapons. Okay. It's a complex dance between your piloting skills and our power allocation system. Boosting ah, power to I'm your engines to this will make your ship faster. Star Wars squadrons. And a little bit of leak. Powering dangerous. up the grab drives will shorten the amount of time it takes before you can make a jump. Okay. Spaceborn has that in it as well. And moving your power to your weapons and shields means you're ready for a fight. Cool. You should always be on your toes because you're not alone out there. Pirates as well. That's Crimson Fleet. We saw them earlier, didn't we? Cool. The combat actually looks quite cool. I guess you can change your turn the circle on that. System skill yeah. will allow okay, you to cool. zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. Serious? You can chuck, target their shields and stuff first, and their engines. So you could disable them from getting away. I like this. So, I wonder if we can take out the actual sh the engines and then board it after destroying an enemy ship. Please say you, you can, can do loot that. the remains from your cockpit. That would be mental if you can do that. You can always turn any ship that engages you into scrap. Nice. So it's not just. But you can also take a more personal approach by okay. docking with the enemy vessel. You can. And boarding you can their dock. Ship. No way. Say that. Oh, and that, can you just? Yeah, you just jump in the, the flight. It's like GTA in space. Brilliant. Once you've taken control of an enemy ship, it's yours. Oh man. Add it to your fleet and retrieve it at any spaceport. Oh, sweet. But space is way more than fighting for your life. I like that you can see all the stats in comparison there as well. That looks Just so like intuitive. Just like with your planet side, there are plenty of sights to see and stops to make on the way to your next adventure. I love their offices. Like these massive star yards. Wow. Walk the halls, talk this to the crew. So Maybe immersive. Maybe get talked into buying a whole new ship. A civilian in my star yard. Let's see about getting you a proper ship. One with your view. That's a tattoo and a Maybe half. Maybe you'll isn't dock it? with a gigantic battleship like the UC Vigilance. Okay. I like the uniforms. I hope you can give your crew a uniform. That'd be nice. Or rub it? elbows with the galaxy's wealthy elite on a cruise ship fit for the stars. What the fudge?
there are plenty of personal wow. encounters to be had as well. Nick that. You can hail any <laughs> ship you come across to trade, swap info, or maybe even commit an act of piracy. Let's okay. Do this. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. Mm. Um, I definitely go like the more piracy routes. Um, I want to take over ships. I'm going to board ships. I'm like, this is now mine. I steal all the sandwiches what? and put them you know, in my cargo hold that I have specifically for sandwiches. I don't want to play the hero, um, but I want to go out and just start taking things from people as quickly as possible. She's like the Paddington Bear of space. Some strangers might be looking for a little human connection in the darkness of space. Okay. Hello, stranger. I just finished cooking up some food. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. The, the food plays so the a best big part in the this, ones it? you discover on your own. Oh, man. The thing I love most about Starfield is that it is a Bethesda game through and through. It's really about going to strange new places, fudge. meeting interesting people, and getting sidetracked on zany adventures. Like alien then realizing two hours later that you're involved in a completely new story. You're I was thinking that when we, we saw we an injured person on the planet. That. You know, what's the chance that you can that DNA is that so present here. It's in our random encounters, it's in our yeah. handcrafted quests. And it feels so cool to play it and just make your own path in this universe. You can play this for years and there still not find it There are over a thousand maybe. planets out there just waiting for you to visit. Okay. This looks, this looks we immense. We want you to feel like explorers. Yep. That's breaking what I ground do. on new planets, exploring every inch of a planet. mostly untouched galaxy. We want you to feel hopeful. We want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder. And sometimes a little fear. But you've got to have that We're giving you a massive playground and a ton of toys and just setting you free. Yeah, I'm loving this. This has ticked all the boxes, mate. I mean, I was impressed when I saw the original trailers, but now I've seen this gameplay demo type thing, I am just draw on the floor. I am blown away. Hey everybody, we've shown you so much stuff, but we thought we'd just okay. take a little break and show you something a, a little bit different. I think a cool you know, glimpse of this so as well. We put so much detail got, into our game worlds, and we love the opportunity to bring that into the real world it's with our collector's editions. And for this game, as I was getting into the taxi, uh, we've done a watch. This, but then it is the Constellation Explorer's phone, Watch. Um, this is the watch that you actually get in the game that acts as part of your HUD, where it's the compass and then environmental information. It connects yeah. to your phone to give you notifications Got and Sky other one, information. Mate. And we've also designed this really cool case that it comes with, uh, Eastvon. Yeah, we really took as much care and designed this case as we did to watch. That Our attention nice. to detail and the game totally translates to this. Inspired by the cases that the astronauts used during the Apollo era to bring back samples from the moon. It's got an intricate locking mechanism, authentic, nice. heavy, comes with a constellation patch, NATO strap, and the overall functionality and believability of this as something that would exist in the world in the Starfield universe. I kind of want to take this. But I'm probably not going to get it. Out there, and it even tells the time. <laughs> we actually have something else. Now that we're part of Xbox, we get to work with the amazing people on the Xbox hardware team, and together we have created this custom limited edition Starfield okay, controller. I'm going to skip awesome. all this it merch now, stuff, you know, our people. favorite I'm going to get it back to the game. We love this because... Look at the vistas. In every one of our games, we always put so much care into all those little details that breathe life into our worlds. Oh, wow. But Starfield isn't just a Bethesda Game Studios world. It's a Bethesda Game Studios galaxy. There's so why go like this big planet. with Starfield? Because we want to give you freedom on a galactic level. But that's just freedom to experience both the yeah. exciting planets and the quiet ones. But there's variety in the organic Scanning ones a planet and the before you land is a great way to get a sneak peek at the available resources you can use for crafting, oh, building, like and customizing. I, like I think what's animation. cool about this whole system that we, we generate the planet itself as a procedural content, but the handcrafted content itself comes as the player explore. That's Our so system cool. builds the planet as the player approaches it. We stitch together a block of terrain. After that, Aye. we have the system that adds interesting locations for the player to explore, creatures to encounter. So does that mean if somebody else goes there, they'll see something different? That's not what you're saying, It allows us right? to add that touch of environmental storytelling that the Vesta is known for. Aggressive creatures have been disrupting our experiments. Their habitat isn't far from here. 
If you could take care of them for us, we would be in your debt. I guess. So even if your friends were to visit the same planet that you had, you would have a different story to tell. Not different creatures or resources, but maybe different stories on there and different settlements might spawn in, is what I'm thinking. But I, it's hard to know. That was a bit vague. I would like to have heard a bit more around that, because if I'm making videos on this of what to expect on planets, and then what I put in my video isn't there, it's not going to be a helpful video, but... Then again, it's going to be more exploration, isn't it? So it's going to be a taste of what that planet is in my videos, I guess. At least it's not spoilerish, I suppose. This is amazing. Amazing. So even if you was watching, say, Jason Blaze play this, and then you watched me play it, and we went to the same planet, it might be a completely different video. It's completely video. up to you how you want like to it. interact with each planet. Whether you want to explore and see what you can find, harvest resources and be on wow. your way. Yes. Or simply take in the views. Yep. Definitely going to be the taking in views. With the help of your scanner, you'll videos, chart the uncharted doing and discover the charting. exotic wildlife. Uh, this is what I want to be. Just if scanning, you have hunting the skills, animals. You can even figure out that certain creatures and plants, you can build an outpost and produce resources from those plants Farming? and animals. You can get experience and really? rewards for fully surveying planets and cool. fully surveying a whole system. Oh, that's what I want to do. I'm going to take my time with this one. It's going to be a slow burn. When we these creatures, we really wanted to think of them as natural that. to the environment. We that's, didn't want alien cool. monsters. We wanted native wildlife. Wow. Something you've never seen before. Love it. When it comes to our exteriors, when the sun moves, all that light is calculated in real time through the atmosphere. Our biggest so goal cool. for lighting with Starfield was to make the game feel more filmic, to use Nothing lighting range, and yeah. color to really make it feel more cinematic. Oh, wow. I guess it best have photo mode. If, if it hasn't got photo mode, they're missing the trick. But a lot of this looks like cinematic shots, you know, as it's panning up and down, which you only really get with photo mode. But then again, they could be just using the dev tools for it, you know? That's so awesome. It'd be cool if you could set your little robot friend to just do cinematics of you and stay behind you so you can get those cinematic shots like this and put together a little video montage like this. That'd be freaking great. After but... some exploring, you can find a spot okay. to set up a base camp. Outposts can be built like almost this. anywhere on any planet. Very much like No Man's Sky. And habitat about modules way. come in all shapes and sizes, filling like all different purposes. Hope you get you a can build even camera. live in them. Assign crew and companions to work at your outposts for added bonuses and set up extractors to harvest resources extractors while you're away. There. Something cool we have this time is we have a new fly cam where fly you can cam. toggle between yeah, on foot building cam. or you can now use Brilliant. a top-down isometric camera which helps plan out larger parts of the outpost and placing those larger halves. Cool. So that way you can really plan your structures and what the overall feel of your outpost is. And then nice. when you're on your feet, you can really decorate and, and fine-tune things much easier. Oh, I like it. Take my money. I, I, I could just build bases on planets, ship customization, exploration. Yeah, I'm going to be plowing a lot of hours into this, people. This is definitely going to be a number two slot game to my channel. No Man's Sky in this. Yeah, I'll probably just alternate content and probably give it equal share, to be honest, but we shall see. Add crafting and research stations in your outpost to utilize any resources you find or already have. Okay. Mod your weapons to adapt them to your playstyle. Different weapon sites and scopes. Larger no. magazines, a selection of grips and barrels, different ammunition like explosive rounds. I just want to make an immense killer pistol. You know, if All I'm going to be a cowboy in space, will surely boom. need a suppressor. Oh, nice! And you an elephant also choose to go take hands on giant with creatures. melee weapons. I'm not fighting that with a poxy knife. I think it's always a delicate balance between like what's realistic, what's sim, and what's Hollywood. And I think we sort of err on the side of like, what's fun for the player? Fun for the player. Gatling gun. <laughs> I like the grenades. Starfield, we've completely overhauled our combat. That's it's weird. more dynamic, screen, the animations though. are more fluid. It just feels great. Oh, there's a weapon. There's a lot of we probably have more mods and more weapons in this game than, <laughs> I want to say, wow. any other game we've done before. 
There's one there with like a, a wooden stock. Very good. Oh! Upgraded Multiple gear is just one of the launcher. many factors to pay attention to when engaging in combat. Sniper rifle. You may need to switch things up based Heck on yes. your environment. Oh, nice! Gravity is different for each planet, and boost packs are excellent for getting around. Definitely need to upgrade the boost and pack. And for giving you an edge in combat. Sometimes you'll even feel like you're flying. That looks so cool. Zero gravity wow. environments pose a different challenge. Firing a ballistic weapon in zero G will actually push you backwards. I think I'll be playing in third person. Energy weapons, on the other hand, offer a more stable shooting experience. Oh, that we looks also sweet. have mag weapons. These are high-powered electromagnetic induction ballistic arrays. Wow. Each barrel has its own targeting laser and can dish out some serious damage. That's freaking insane. I love that multiple targeting laser. And there's robot Mexico up against, not just humans. Your own two fists, <laughs> or you like more <laughs> dinosaur. Like pistols and submachine guns. Or maybe you prefer something bigger. Oh yeah, BFG. Oh, it's a freaking mini gun. Starfield's <laughs> got you covered. Everything that I've said. The camera mode. No, no the uh, build camera mode. Gatling gun. Killer pistols. I can see all the weapons on his tree there. There was loads. Oh, combat has definitely improved. Wow. And the AI seems to be pretty good. Maybe? Apart from, yeah, you just sort of ran into that. What the fudge was that? There's a kill count engraved on the gun. Did I see that right? I think I did. Oh, man! Oh, I like the look of that. That's very futuristic, that gun. Wow. This looks great. <laughs> the physics look good. What the...? Did he just use the force? Use the force, Luke! I wonder if you get some sort of alien abilities from those monoliths. Thanks again for with. being with us today. We are just so I've, grateful. I've got questions, you've questions, taken the Tom, time questions. And spent it here. I know um, that was probably a lot to take in. There's a lot yeah. to the game, even more than we could show here. You know, as we it's play it, the end. we're always sharing these unique like and special moments that only a game like this can bring. It's gonna end it like that. When I think about what makes it special, it really is the people here. Okay. This game is a reflection of the incredible, a bit passionate team that made it. All of them putting something special of themselves into it. Okay. So let's hear some of their favorite moments. Go for it. I love the way that our final combination of all the new tech has come together to create some of the it's most amazing. beautiful sunsets and sunrises we've ever had in any of our games. I love the creatures, love the exploration, every biome is different. The word uh, that comes her. to mind is vast. Vast, okay. I I'm like to her. use our photo mode photo to mode. take rock star photos. Oh. I just love that constant feel of discovery oh. and wow, awesome. I can't believe that there's more here. I'm most excited about our outpost building systems. I do like that. Too. My favorite part is every time you step out on a planet, it's a unique experience. I wonder how many bases you can build. I wonder if there's you a spend limit. all this time building your ship and you see it on the landing pad. These my ships things are be gigantic. Base, it's the kind of know? thing that you just can't get anywhere else. There's something about seeing a tower over in the distance and going, I know the gravity's low here. I think I can make that jump. <laughs> My favorite no part is biomes, spaceships, audio design, planets, the day-night cycle. Those details day matter muscle. to me. Diplomacy, exploration, freedom, the ending. Vasco, the ending, obviously. I love the robot so much. The incredible amount of worlds plus? we created. Just, Sniper I, rifles, come question. on. Lever action, rocket launcher, brain sprout. What? I love, but some people might find creepy. I don't know. I don't talk about <laughs> The thing that Fine. I enjoy most about the game is the freedom to it's be like you can who go on you want to be, do what you want to do. What the fuck it's just happened to him? It's what you come to expect from a Bethesda title, but on a much bigger scale. Like he had a dead creature on his back or something. Oh, this looks awesome. On behalf of all of us, 
We can't wait for on you to play Starfield. Alien thing, the sort of and effects, your the own same effect that came off his hand. I think that might be an end game perk or something, or a later game perk. Oh wow! Oh my days, people. There's so much to go over on this video. I could make several little mini videos and go into more deep divey type stuff. If you want to see me do more deep divey type stuff, let me know in the comments. Hit that like, smash a subscribe. Let us know you like us. Contact. When, when, when? The 9th of the 6th, 23. Alright, I'm booking that week off work. Wow. Pre order skins. Okay. Available on day one Game Pass. Really? Okay, it's coming to Game Pass then. September 6th. Very cool. Play it day one with Game Pass. What? Okay, play it day one with Game Pass. All right, there you go, people. Well, that's freaking awesome. Right, I'm going to make myself a bit larger on screen. Let's just um, get rid of the old um, tube of you, just in case it starts playing or something else. Actually, let's just hit replay, and then I'll hit pause. Pause that. I'll go back over to me. So, yeah, people inside the Viewerverse, I think this looks freaking awesome. I'm going to go and have a look see over on pre-orders whether you get any sort of, you know, early exclusivity or whatever. You know, maybe get to play it a couple of days early or something if you sign up for pre-order. I'm going to have a little look how much that watch is. I do want that little box and the watch, to be honest. It'd be nice to have it, like, on my shelves in the background. Not that you can see it right now because it's got the green screen on. But, yeah, I do the odd video where you can see all my collectibles. It'd be nice to have that up there, wouldn't it? Uh, which camera am I looking in? I think it's just it's one of them. It's not that one, actually. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> anyway, people, I'm going to end off now, but I am super freaking excited, if you can't tell, for Starfield. Starfield looks amazing. Um, I think Hello Games should be very nervous at that and seeing just how big a game this is. It's a lot bigger than what I originally thought it would be in breadth and scale and exploration. I'm going to be doing a lot of exploration, creature hunting, hopefully. Hopefully I can find my own sort of path inside of this game and do stuff that I really enjoy. It looks like there's scope for that. I was worried that it would be linear following a set story. But like I said, you can just go off and amble about on planets and find side quests and get really engrossed into that. You know, so yeah, really excited people. Let us know in the comments what you're most excited for. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.